The History of SARMs, Why It Was Really Created Many in the fitness community have tried SARMs, selective androgen receptor modulators, with tremendous results. However, many believe these compounds were specifically designed for bodybuilding and are therefore surprised to find out that they were designed for something else entirely. SARMs was not initially created for the purpose of delivering more gains in the gym, or to increase your metabolism, or to assist you in burning fat at impressive rates. They were, in fact, designed to help patients with wasting diseases such as AIDS or cancer to maintain muscle and bone density, two of the most common casualties of the diseases. By learning how they affect patients with various illnesses, you can learn how to leverage them for the positive effects on healthy bodies as well. Muscle Wasting Disorders Humans are not designed to indefinitely gain and retain muscle, even if you're hitting the gym five times a week. If you're over 40 years old, you're likely losing about 1% of muscle per year. There are now many pharmaceuticals, such as corticosteroids, that may cause muscle wasting even in young and healthy patients. Cancer patients can lose more than 3 pounds of muscle per year, and in the cancer field, it is even more imperative that patients maintain muscular structure to promote longevity and healthy physiology throughout treatment. This is where SARMs come in. SARMs target the androgen receptors of the body to promote muscle growth. Many mimic the effects of testosterone in the body in this targeting. However, because they are not testosterone, they don't break down into less desirable compounds such as DHT and estrogen. This essentially tricks the muscles into building despite a lack of exercise. If you add intense exercise into the equation, you'll see significant gains from SARMs. Bone Density Another main concern with wasting diseases is the loss of bone density. Bone density has actually been linked to muscle strength in past studies, and it is therefore critical to take into account bone density when trying to achieve strength gains. SARMs actively work to increase bone mineral density, which is, in some ways, correlated with muscle strength. Neuroprotective Benefits One of the side effects scientists discovered in SARMs is their neuroprotective effects. Some SARMs, such as RAD140, are actually lauded for their ability to protect the brain from oxidative pressures that may arise from treatments of wasting diseases. This means healthy patients also experience a boost in neuroprotective effects when taking some SARMs. SARMs are quickly becoming some of the most powerful and popular fitness and longevity supplements available today. Many like to understand why these products do what they do, and why they were introduced to the market in the first place. This understanding, along with proper usage and responsible sourcing, can have a very positive impact on overall muscle gains and athletic performance. If you are ready to reach your physical goals the healthy way, without the negative side effects of steroids, visit us at sarmsasia.com, where we have been providing high-quality SARMs worldwide since 2012.